Hello, Kelia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Roxana. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm excellent. Thank you. How was, how was your day today? Fine. Excellent. You had an excellent day. Perfect. Then. Did you go to work? Um, yes. Okay, excellent. Elia, good evening and welcome to the class too. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight, Elia? I'm great. Okay, I'm happy you're great. Nice. Yes, I'm happy. Okay, that sounds nice. Welcome to the class. How was your day, Kelia? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? My day is hard. Oh, your day was hard. My day was hard. Was hard. My day was hard. Yes, mi día estuvo difícil. Hello, Monica. Hello, Roberto. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good night. How are you tonight? I'm fine for the moment. <laughs> Okay, excellent. And Monica, welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, Angelica. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are Good you evening. tonight? Hello, Francisco. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight, Francisco? Repeat. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? Uh, I'm so, so. I feel blue. Okay, you don't feel well tonight. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Uh, do you have any question about the platform? Do you have any question about the platform? It's a difficult exercise, a problem? Eh, sinceramente, quizás hoy, después de clase, voy a ver si me pongo al día, teacher, porque si me ha tocado mero movido y más que me siento algo así como engripado. Ah, uh, okay, Francisco, I understand. So, just don't forget to work on the platform, please. Sí, no, yo, vamos con todo ahí. Okay, and I hope you get well soon. So then, no question. If you don't have any question, let's start with the tonight class. Today, we're going to study simple past tense with irregular verb. 
Yesterday we were talking about regular verbs. What's the difference between regular and irregular verbs? Do you remember that? ¿Se acuerdan cuál era la diferencia entre un verbo regular y un verbo irregular? No, mi teacher no lo dijo. I forget about it. Uh, the difference is that with the regular verb, we need to follow some rules to make the simple past tense. And for irregular verb, we are going to learn them from a list because every verb has its own form in past tense. That's the difference. La diferencia es que cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado. And we're going to study that tonight. So let's start with the class. Let's start with tonight class. Can you please let me know if you can see my screen? Yes, teacher. Thank yes, you. Te yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, yes, a second. It is not working. Okay, here we go. So simple paths with irregular verbs. That is the topic for this class. This is your class number 10. So welcome everybody and let's start with this. So simple paths with irregular verbs. So let's see this. Unfortunately, there isn't any rule to form the simple paths of irregular verbs. You have to learn then from Alice, take a look of the following birds. Desafortunadamente no hay reglas, ¿verdad? Que seguir para formar el pasado simple de los verbos irregulares. So we need to study a list. Look at this example. I did yoga yesterday. You got up early. He went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. They had a birthday party. So here are the verb do is the verb in present. Did is the past tense. I did yoga yesterday. Get up. Got up is the simple past. You got up early. Go. The simple past is when, meet, met, come, came, have, had. So look at this, no hay ninguna regla, ¿verdad? Cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado simple. So we need to learn then from a list. At the end of the class, I'm going to share with you a list of verbs, regular and also irregular verbs. At the end of the class, I'm going to share it with you in the WhatsApp group. So let's see a volunteer, please, to read these examples. Who want to read these examples? I, Francisco. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, Seria, so I did yoga yesterday. You got up early. Went to the shopping mall. She met her classmate. We came home early. They had a birthday party. Yes, thanks a lot. Excellent job. Thank you, Francisco. So the first one, I did yoga yesterday. Yo hice yoga ayer. Got up. You got up early. What's the meaning of the sentence? You got up early. Yo me levanté tarde. And no, 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 yo me levanté temprano. Okay, excelente. Me levanté. No, sería tú. Tú te levantaste. Te levantaste temprano. Yes. 
So the next one, he went to the shopping mall. El fue al centro. Al centro. Comercial. Fue a Comercial. Okay. She met her classmate. Ella entró a su clase. Oh. Ella se reunió con él. Encontró su compañero de clase. Se reunió con sus compañeros. Ella. Ella okay. se reunió con él. Es, hizo... What is the meaning meet? ¿Se acuerdan, no. ¿Se acuerdan de la frase nice to meet you? Nice yes, ella conoció you. sus compañeros de clase. Yes, ella conoció a sus compañeros de clase. Thanks a lot. Meet es conocer, pero también tiene el significado reunirse. So she met her classmate. We came home early. We came home early. What's the meaning of that sentence? Nosotros Vinimos a casa temprano. Excelente. Nosotros llegamos a casa temprano. O venimos. Nosotros venimos a casa temprano. They had a birthday party. They had a birthday party. Ellos tuvieron Ellos una, fiesta una fiesta de cumpleaños. Excelente. So all of these sentences are in simple past tense. Y cada una de ellas tiene un verbo irregular. As you can see here, the birth and the past. So let's see the next. How we are going to make sentences. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer oraciones in simple past tense using irregular birth? So look at this. It's almost the same with regular birth. A subject, a verb in simple past tense, plus a complement. Solo necesitamos un sujeto, un verbo en pasado simple, más un complemento. Read the following examples. Leamos los siguientes ejemplos. Number one, I did my homework. What is the subject in the sentence? I. Is I. Yes, I. Is. Okay, let me see. Teacher, I apologize for nothing. Okay, that is in the WhatsApp group. So I is the subject, D it is the verb. My homework is the complement. That is easy, let's see. You got up at noon. You got up at noon. Te levantaste al mediodía. So what's the subject in the sentence? You. You, the verb. Got up. Got up. And the complement? At noon. At noon. Excellent. So let's see the next one. He went to the museum. He went to the museum. He is subject. He is the subject. When is the verb? Simple past tense. And to the museum is the? Compliment. 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 Excellent. We met, we met, sorry, we met our new teacher. Conocimos a nuestro profesor nuevo. We met our new teacher. We is the subject. Met is the verb in simple past tense. Our new teacher is the compliment. They came home late. Ellos vinieron a casa tarde. They is the subject, came the verb in simple past tense, and home late is the complement. You had a picnic. You had a picnic. Tu viste un picnic. So you is the subject, had is the verb, in a picnic is the complement. Yes, a volunteer, please, to read these examples. Who wants to practice? <laughs> Noon. I did my homework. You were up at noon. He went to the museum. We met our new teacher. 
They come home late. You have a picnic. Excellent job. Thanks a lot. So in this part, our, we met our new teacher. They came. They came home late. Excellent. Excellent job. Thanks a lot. So let's practice. Do you know the correct password of the following birds? And we're going to learn at the end tonight. So look at this bird. Eat, sing, take, find, see, make, sit, and write. Eat, sing, take, find, see, make, sit, write. What's the meaning of this bird? Do you know the meaning of them? Yes. Yes. Come in. Thank you. Sing. Andar. Take. Tomar. Tomar. Find. Buscar. Buscar or encontrar. What's the meaning? Encontrar. 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 Sí. Ver. Make. Hacer. Hacer. Sit. Sentar. Write. Escribir. Escribir. Excellent. Now look at the password of this verb. It, aid, sing, sang, take, took, find, found, see, so, made, made, sit, sat, write, wrote. This is the password. No hay ninguna regla, ¿verdad? Para seguir. Cada uno tiene su propia forma. So, let's see. Let's see the examples. Eat a, I ate a cake. Sing, sun, we sang too much last night. I took three hours to drive to Paris. I found your keys under the table. He saw the new movie yesterday. She make a cake. It was delicious. I sat on the old chair and it broke. He wrote a letter to his wife. So a uh, volunteer please to read the sentences. Me. I okay. ate a cake. We sang too much last night. I took three hours to drive to Paris. I found your keys under the table. He saw the new movie yesterday. He made a cake. It was delicious. I sat on the old chair and it broke. He wrote a letter Excellent job. Thank you, Kelly. Any other volunteer? Me. Thank you, Eric. Uh, who was the other person who said me? Can you please tell me your Yo, name? Vanessa. Okay, then first Eric and then Vanessa. You can start, Eric, please. I ate a cake. We sang too much last night. I took three hours to ride to Paris. I found your keys under the table. He saw the new movie, a movie yesterday. She made, she made a cake. It was delicious. I sat on the old chair and it broke. He wrote a letter to, this, to his wife. Excellent job. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Vanessa, can you please? Eight. I ate, okay. Thanks a lot. And what happened with Vanessa? Hello, Vanessa, can you help me please in this part? I ate, okay. We sound too much last night. I took three hours to drive to Paris. I found your key case under the table. 
He saw the new movie yesterday. She made a cake, it's delicious. I sat on the old chair and it broke. He ground a letter to his wife. Excellent, thanks a lot. Excellent job. So he, I took three, three hours to drive to Paris. I found your keys. I found your keys under the table. He saw the new movie yesterday. It was delicious. It was delicious. Estuvo delicioso. She made a cake. It was delicious. Ella hizo un pastel. Estuvo delicioso. So, let's see. De esta manera hacemos oraciones afirmativas utilizando verbos irregulares. Easy brain. Subject. Past form of the verb. Complement. And we have a sentence. Now let's see how to make negative statement using irregular verbs. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer preguntas utilizando horas, los verbos en pasado, los verbos irregulares? How to make negative statements or negative sentences. We are going to need a subject, auxiliary did plus not. La construcción es didn't. Bird in the present plus a complement. So pay attention to this. Didn't en el auxiliar va el pasado. El verbo va a ir siempre en presente. Bird in the present plus a complement. Look at these examples. I didn't take many pictures. Subject didn't. Bird in present. Many pictures complement. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. The tour guide subject didn't speak is the bird in the present and Spanish the complement. She didn't go fishing. Subject didn't bear in present complement. You didn't eat fruit. You didn't eat fruit. Subject, didn't. Bear in present, complement. They didn't do their homework. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. So in these ways, we are going to make negative statements or negative sentences in simple past tense. So we are going to use didn't to say no, ¿verdad? Para decir que algo no sucedió en el pasado. I didn't take many pictures. No tomé muchas fotos. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. El guía de turismo no hablaba español. She didn't go fishing. Ellos no fueron a pescar. You didn't eat fruit. Tú no comiste fruta. They didn't do their homework. Ellos no hicieron su trabajo. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Nosotros no compramos un teléfono inteligente. So, who wants to practice reading the sentences? Who wants to practice reading the sentences? I didn't take many pictures. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. Fruit. Uh, they didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Thanks a lot. That was great. Thank you. Any other student? Me, teacher. Thank you, Soveda. I didn't take many pictures. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Thanks a lot. That was excellent. Thank you very much. And the last one, who wants to be the last one and to practice this part, please? Any other volunteer? Saying negative sentences in past tense. 
Who wants to help me? I didn't take many pictures. The tour guide didn't speak Spanish. She didn't go fishing. You didn't eat fruit. They didn't do their homework. We didn't buy a new smartphone. Thank you, Eric. Excellent job. Thank you very much. It was a great job. Thank you. Now let's see the other part, how to make equations. How to make equations in simple past tense. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer una pregunta? Queremos saber si usted hizo algo en el pasado. Let's see, for example, did you go shopping on the weekend? ¿Fue usted de compras el fin de semana pasado? And then you say, yes, no. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer una pregunta? How to make question? We are going to use the following structure. Auxiliary did, subject, verb in present, plus complement, plus the question mark. So we are going to need did at the beginning of the sentence. Then we are going to write the subject, then verb in present, complement and question mark. This is the structure we are going to follow to make a question in simple past tense. Look at this example. Did you go shopping on the weekend? And you have two possible answers. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did he go to the beach last vacation? Fue él a la playa en su última vacación? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did you eat eggs and beans for the breakfast? Comió eh, Sorry. In this case, it's she. We're going to fix this sentence in a moment. Did she, did she eat eggs and beans for breakfast? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did they write a letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. So I need two volunteers in this part. Who wants to practice to volunteer, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Kelia. Kelia. Heidi and okay. Kelia. Okay, Heidi, you are going to read the question and Kelly, you are going to read the answer, please. Did you go shopping on the weekend? Yes, I did. No, I did. Did he go to the beach last vacation? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did she eat a um, beans for the breakfast? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did they write a letter? Yes, they did. Or no, they didn't. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent job. So let's see the next thing. Look at this conversation. This is the reading part. So read this small conversation, please. It's between Laura and Erica. So Laura said, so did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Actually, we brought horses and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. So, did you go anywhere last summer? ¿Fuiste a algún lugar el verano pasado? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. 
Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. So what was the place she visited? ¿Qué lugar visitó? Arizona. 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 Eh, where Gran in Arizona? Canyon. Gran, Gran Canyon. Canyon. El Gran Cañón. El Gran Cañón, ¿verdad? The Grand Canyon. Did they enjoy the trip? Yes. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Did they ride horses? Did they ride horses? Yes. Yes, yes, they did. Did they go hiking? No, they didn't. No, no we didn't. they didn't. No, we didn't. Did they visit it? Sorry, did they visit the Grand Canyon? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okay. So we have question here. The first example is this. Did you go anywhere last summer? And the answer, yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw. ¿Podrían identificar los verbos irregulares en pasado in this small conversation? Can you tell me where are they? Did. When? So. Did. So. When. So. 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 Love it. Love it. Ok, excelente. Love. 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 Aunque when. Es... When. When. How. Hiking? Okay, you say love, no, why not? Because it's, it's an irregular verb. Oh, excellent. It's not an irregular verb. Love is a regular verb. Thank you. So, rot, we can find the rot. El pasado de ride, right? Montar. Went, que es el pasado mm. de go. Had which is the past form of have. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So let's see, de esta conversación tenemos los siguientes ejemplos. Simple past, yes, no questions. Then I have already explained to you this part. We need the auxiliary did. At the beginning of the sentence, the subject, the verb in present, and the complement, and don't forget about the question mark. No se les olvide acerca del signo de pregunta. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I have a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erika like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked, she liked it a lot. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. So two volunteers to practice this question and answer, please. Who wants to participate? Me. Thank okay. you. Vanessa and Francisco. So Vanessa, can you please ask the question? And Francisco, you are going to answer then. You can start, please. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I have a good summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play tennis. The next part, please. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Thanks a lot. Vacation. Like, did Erica like her vacation? Vacation. Thank you. 
Two volunteers again, please. Who wants to participate? Any other student? So, so Veda and Lisette. So, so Veda, can you please ask the question? And Lisette, you are going to answer them. You can start. Okay. Please. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Thank you, excellent job. You did a great job at this part, thanks a lot. So don't forget about the structure of simple past yes, no question. Auxiliary did, subject, verb in present, complement in question mark. And now the answer, la respuesta, la respuesta va a ser según el sujeto que nos pregunte. Did you? Es para usted. Let's see this. Did Erika? Entonces es ella. Respondemos with she. Vamos a utilizar she en la respuesta. Erika and her sister son ellas. Dave. Y vamos a utilizar they en la respuesta. Let's see the following exercise. Let's practice. Read the sentence and tell me what is the correct option to complete the sentences. You have a one, two, and three. In letter A, you have turned a new house last month. Both. Well, what is the correct form of the verb in simple past tense? Option two. Option two, both. Excellent. You are right. That's the correct answer. Thank you. Letter B. That is a negative sentence. Number three, didn't understand. Thanks a lot, Kelia. She didn't understand the question yesterday. She didn't understand the question yesterday. Thank you. Let us see what's the correct answer. Option one. Let's see. Fred took a lot of pictures of his holiday last summer. Okay, nice. That is the correct option answer. one. Option one took. Fred took a lot of pictures of his holiday last summer. Thank you. A volunteer to read the sentences, please. Any volunteer? Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Eh, sería con la respuesta o? With the correct answer, please. Okay, sería Tom bought a new house last month. She didn't understand the question yesterday. Fred took a look a lot of pictures on his holiday last one summer. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent job. Thank you. Let's see the next. Let's continue practicing this. Read the sentence and tell me what is the correct option to complete those sentences. Did you get? Did you get? Option three. Option three. What did you get for your birthday? Yes. ¿Qué te dieron para tu cumpleaños? What did you get for your birthday? That's the correct answer. Thank you. Next one. Letter E. Did you go? One. Option three. Uh, are you mm. sure? No. Okay. No. Option one. Option one. Did you no. Option two. Did you go? 
no, 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 no. Did you go? Yes. Did you go? Okay. The weekend. If you say option one, see the option one. I'm sorry, you aren't right. If you say option three, I'm sorry to to aren't right. The right, uh, I'm sorry, is did you go? Where did Verbo. you go last weekend? El verbo no se modifica ahora. El verbo el no did. se modifica. Por el did, exacto. El did es el que va en el pasado, el auxiliary. So, where did you go last weekend? ¿Dónde fuiste el, el fin de semana pasado? Sorry. If. Number three. Number three. Number three. Let's see this, but, but it was too expensive. What's the correct number one, number two, number three? Number, number three. three. Number three. I, I wanted to buy that computer, but it was too expensive. Yo quería comprar esa computadora, but it was too expensive. ¿Por qué no la compró? Estaba Por cara. Porque era muy cara. Yeah, okay. Estaba demasiado cara. It was too expensive. Thank you. A volunteer, please, to read the three sentences with the right answer, please. Can you help me, please, a volunteer? Thank you. What did you get for your birthday? Where did you go last weekend? I wanted to buy that computer, but I it was too expensive. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job in this part. So I have this practice too. This is a conversation and it says, hi, Alice, what did you do last weekend? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. So, what did you do last weekend? Look at this. Si tenemos una pregunta de información, la WH word va a ir al principio de la oración, al principio de la pregunta. What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? I did a lot of things. On Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought some new clothes. I also played tennis. Who did you play with? I played with Tom. Did you win? Of course I won. What did you do after your tennis match? Well, I went home and took a shower and then went out. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the Good Fork. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoy our dinner very much. We also drank some wonderful wine. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend. I didn't eat in a restaurant and I didn't play tennis. What did you do? I stay home and studied for my test. Poor you. Okay, so let's see. Who has a good weekend? ¿Quién tuvo un buen fin de semana? Who did have a good weekend? Robert or Alice? Alice. 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 Okay. What did she do last weekend? ¿Qué actividades realizó? She went shopping. She went shopping, yes. Play tennis. Play, play tennis. She played tennis. Played tennis. At a restaurant. She won. She won. She went to a restaurant. What was the name of the restaurant? The Good Fork. 
the good for. Excellent. Kim ask him as look at this. She, she drank. Enjoyed her dinner. Oh, she enjoyed her dinner. Her dinner. She well, drank some wonderful wine. Wine, excellent. She drank wine. some wonderful wine, excellent. Ella bebió un vino maravilloso. Unfortunately, I didn't go out this weekend, dice Robert. Si no salió de su casa, ¿qué hizo Robert? He stayed, stayed at home. home. Stayed at home. Study for test. Ok, en study for his test. Igual que ustedes, ¿verdad? Prefieren estudiar, trabajar en la plataforma y no salir. Excelente. Mm -hmm. Good student. <laughs> <laughs> Excelente, students. Ok, y Alice, poor you. Pobre de ti. Poor you. So, look at the example. We have this question. What did you do last weekend? Preguntando por las actividades que realizó el fin de semana pasado. What did you do last weekend? Eh, on Saturday, I went shopping. What did you buy? ¿Qué compraste? I bought some new clothes. Next question. Who did you play with? ¿Con quién jugaste? Ella dice, I also play tennis. Entonces, Robert pregunta, Who did you play with? ¿Con quién jugaste? I played with Tom. Did you win? This is a yes, no question. Of course, I won. Por supuesto, yo gané. What did you do after your tennis match? ¿Qué hiciste después de tu partido de tenis? Well, I went home and took a shower and then went out. Llegué a casa, me bañé y salí. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my, uh, another question. Another question. Did you eat in a restaurant? Yes, my friend Jackie and I ate at the good fork. Another question. Did you enjoy your dinner? Yes, we enjoyed our dinner very much. And then the other question is, what did you do? I stay home and studied for my test. So example of question. Now it's your turn. Share the answer for the following question with your classmate. What did you do last weekend? Look at the following verbs. Observe los siguientes verbos. ¿Cuáles de estas actividades hicieron el fin de semana pasado? Let's see. The first one. Did you go to the movie theater? What's your answer? I didn't. I didn't. Okay, let's let's answer this question. Let's answer this question. Contestemos esta pregunta, please. Did you go to the movie theater? ¿Fuiste al cine? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Let's see the next one. Did you clean your house last weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Next one. Mm -hmm. Did you wash your car? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Next question. Did you study? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> Be sincere, please, in this question. Did you study? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, the next one. Did you sing last weekend? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, okay. I didn't. Ni aún en, el, en la ducha? No. 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 Gente, Fernando. The car. <laughs> ok, ok. While you are driving your car. Mientras conduce su carro. Ok. Dance. Did you dance last weekend? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Did you eat out in a restaurant? Yes, yes, I, I did. did. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, yes. Ok. Bueno, el fin de que viene los vamos a invitar a la pizza todos. <laughs> <laughs> a que salgamos. Uh, did you get up early? Did 
did you get up early last weekend? Se levantó temprano el fin de semana pasado. Yes, I did. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Yes. No, I didn't. Ah, ok. Qué bueno por los que se levantaron tarde. And I'm so sorry for the ones who got up early. Did you visit your relative? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Very early. Did you buy groceries? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. What's the meaning of groceries? Do you know the meaning of this word? Mm, chucherías, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, actually, no, es eh, comestibles, ¿verdad? Comestibles. Yes. Groceries are comestibles, ¿no? comida. Groceries, did you buy groceries? Comida rápida. Comida rápida, ¿ah? Huh? Yes. Food. Did you buy groceries? Do you have any question about the topic? Do you have a question? No, teacher. No question. Are you sure? Then let's see. Can you please remember this bird and you are going to share with your classmate? We are going to practice in the small groups and you are going to say, what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué actividades realizó el fin de semana pasado? Utilizando estos verbos. Let's say, for example, go, and you say, I went. And you say the place. So, I went to the park. I went to the church. I went to the mall. Clean. I cleaned my house. Washed. I washed my car. I washed my dog. I stayed. I stayed at home. Or I didn't stay at home. I studied. I didn't study. I sang a beautiful song or I didn't sing. I danced or I didn't dance. I ate or I didn't eat out in a restaurant. Pero así como usted lo puede hacer. Me encanta como lo hace. Estoy en clase, mi amor. Get up. By the way, de aquí de los verbos estos, ¿cuáles son irregulares y cuáles son regulares in this? Irregular eight. Go is irregular. Irregular go. Okay, let's start with go. Regular or irregular? Irregular. Regular. Regular. Clean. Irregular. Are you sure? Regular. You say no. go is regular or irregular. Irregular. Clean. Regular. Regular. Wash. Regular. Stay. Irregular. Regular. Regular. Stay is regular. Okay. Study to regular. 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 Sing. Regular. Irregular. Dance. Regular. Regular. Eat. Irregular. Irregular. Get up. Irregular. Regular. Visit. Regular. Regular. Buy. Irregular. Regular. Okay, let's continue practicing. Let me see. Okay, Francisco, can you please choose one of your classmates? I <laughs> just went in the classmate. I did go visit my los visit my relatives. Okay, get me a second. What did no quiso escoger a nadie, se sacrificó. What did yes. you what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hizo el fin de semana pasado? This is the question. Ah, Cuénteme, what did you do last weekend? And you say, I visited. I, uh, I visit my relatives. 
Yes, I visited my relatives. I clean my house. I clean. Clean my house. I wash my motorcycle. Yes, motor. Uh, motorcycle. I sing, sing the happy birthday to my father. In this case, sang the past form, sang and uh, sang. And uh, eat groceries. To my father, you see, right? I send a happy birthday song to my father. I buy groceries. ¿Cuál es el pasado de buy? Can you help me? Boat. 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 I bought groceries. Ella I bought groceries. Thank you. So what did what did you do last weekend? I visited my relatives, I cleaned my house, I washed my motorcycle. I washed my motorcycle, I sang the happy birthday song to my father. I bought groceries. Excellent. A volunteer, a victim, or a sacrifice. To answer the same question, what did you do last weekend? A volunteer, a victim. Uh, let's see. Hey, Di Vanessa. Uh, I, I visited. Ah, okay. Voluntaria, entonces. Okay, I visited. My children's. I visited my children, yes. I clean my car. I clean my car. Yes. I soccer player. I play soccer. I played so soccer. Play soccer. Mm -mm. I work. <laughs> okay, I work. I, I work. The next one. That's it. No más. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Any other volunteer? To share oh, what did you do last weekend? Who say me? Eric. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Tell me. What did you do okay. last weekend? Um first I, I studied on Saturday. I studied on Saturday. I studied on Saturday. And I visit my family or rel my relatives. I visited my relatives. Yes, I, I, la palabra de eat. I ate. I ate pupusas. Um, Saturday. I ate pupusas on Saturday. Yeah, I ate pupusas on Saturday. I sang I sang music. I sang music. ¿Cómo se llama? Conducir. Cuando um, manejo, I sang when, while I was driving. Yes. Okay, okay. yo canté mientras conducía. I, 
Yes, I play soccer on Sunday. I play soccer on Sunday. Okay, excellent. In... Eso. <laughs> Okay. Driving only one oh, yes, thank you. Give me a second. Can I erase in this part? Let me see. Okay, let me write it again the sentence. So I sang songs while I was. Driving. It's like this one. Wait to move here. Okay, I sang song when I was driving. So I played soccer on Sunday. Excellent. So anyone want to share? What did I you played, do last weekend? I played basketball on Sunday. Okay, I'm going to use another whiteboard. So you say, I played basketball. Excellent. On Sunday. I drove my bike on Saturday and Sunday. I rode my bike. Drove. Uh, come drive. Si te pasado, drove. Um, yeah, but the sí. verb okay. for bike is ride. I ride okay. my bike. I rode my bike. Okay. You say both, right? Saturday and Sunday, so on the weekend. I clean my room on Saturday. I cleaned, I cleaned my room on Saturday. I washed uh, clothes on Saturday. Okay. Ah, okay. I washed my clothes. Washed my cloth on Saturday too. Thank you. Any other activity that you did? No. No. Okay. Thank you. So, do you have any question about this topic? If you don't have any other question, eh, don't forget, please, to continue working on the platform exercises, eh, section four and section five, please. We need to finish the platform. Uh, don't forget about that, please. Friend. En algún tiempito que les quede libre, ¿verdad? Entonces, continuemos trabajando en la plataforma. I know that your work is very busy, eh, but your day, sorry. I know that your day is very busy. Sé que su día es muy ocupado, but please uh, work on the platform, please. It's important. Es importante que complete esa plataforma. ¿Cuál es la nota mínima en la plataforma? 80%. Pero nosotros vamos a llegar al 100%, right? Okay, we're going to get the 100%. So, thanks a lot. Thank you for your attention, for your participation, for your puntuality. It has been nice to be with you tonight. Thanks a lot. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher.